Do you want to consistently get product demos for your SaaS every single week? Then you're in the right place. My name is Dennis. I'm the founder of SaaS Camp Accelerator. And in this video, I'll walk you through all the strategies we're using with different B2B SaaS startups to get 40 to 60 product demos every single month. In this video, I'll also explain why having a reply handling database will get you more sales and how to construct yours. So if you'd like to learn more about it, make sure you stay to the end. Awesome. In the past year, I had B2B SaaS startups book over 1000 product demos. And here is one of the recent screenshots for Powerleads. What we want to do first thing is find what gets your ideal prospects on calls. Do you know what differentiates companies booking one to two calls a month from those booking 50 to 70? One is what they are offering. Second, the volumes they are doing. Ask yourself, what should my ideal prospect see to get on a call with me at 1 a.m.? Everything starts with you figuring this out, because if you are nice to have and person's business won't be affected in case they don't learn more, they won't take 30 minutes out of their day to get on a call with you. Nobody likes getting on useless sales calls, but the good part is that it's in your hands to turn a nice to have, which they don't care about, into a must have and make them want to get on a call with you. If you'd like to learn how to go from a nice to have to a must have and repackage your product to get people rushed to speak to you, check out my other video, which is called Eliminate Competition, how to position your startup to dominate your niche, because there I covered this in detail. This has something to do with category design, which is broken down there step by step. Second, test, test and test again to find your message market fit formula. After you repackage your offering as a must have, it's all about testing. The goal becomes finding your winning marketing formula. You want to experiment with multiple sequences, the number of steps you have in each of them and from which angle you pitch your product. You need to know step by step what is the absolute easiest way to get calls with your ideal prospects. Here's the formula, right pain, the right audience with the right message with the right channel and with the right timing is what is going to get you 20 percent month over month revenue growth rate once you have your message market fit formula done you transition from guessing to scaling next you want to find your best acquisition channel because one channel with one offer gets you to the first million dollars in revenue cold email linkedin Twitter, Facebook, Google ads, Facebook ads, partnerships, webinars, groups, cold calling, you name it. You test three channels at the start and then you double down on the one with the lowest customer acquisition cost and highest LTV. Once you know the channel, keep experimenting with approaches in it because you may still not know the sub acquisition channel with the best performance like LinkedIn outbound versus LinkedIn groups and versus LinkedIn content. Step number four is to audit your pipeline each week to find where you're losing meetings. The reasons could be reply time to interested leads must be under one hour or otherwise you're missing conversions. Your website has irrelevant information and people get confused. You want to eliminate this. You don't warm prospects up with sequences prior to call and they don't show up. The no show rate is one of the biggest traps that people fall into when structuring their pipelines. So your sub sequences must be in place and Prospects must understand what they are getting into even before they jump on a call with you. You forget about them if they can't make it to the call. Again, this is another common place where startups face this drop off in leads because if the person rescheduled the call or said, sorry, let's do it in a couple of weeks, everyone just forgets about them and you want to make sure you are not losing leads here. Number five, you want to reverse engineer your inbound and outbound lead generation. And this is actually the secret behind consistent sales. So tracking your numbers lets you do magic. If you know that your close rate is 25%, you understand it takes you four calls to close a sale. You know that every five interested replies get you a meeting and you know it takes 300 emails and two LinkedIn posts for you to get five interested leads. So this means that two posts and 300 emails give you one missing and knowing this information you can 5x it getting to 10 posts and 1500 emails turning into five meetings and five meetings resulting in one sale. That's exactly how you can construct your business processes to be at two sales each single week. Now instead of you waiting for miracles you can just do 20 posts and 3000 emails a week and that's how you'd be at 10 meetings and two sales every single week same principles apply to go 6x in volumes you keep finding bottlenecks where you're missing conversions and patching loopholes throughout your funnel now the bonus construct your reply handling database this is the one which i mentioned at the start 
As you'd be handling hundreds of conversations and regularly going through the same scenarios, you don't want to be wasting your time doing this over and over again. So you create your unified reply handling database where you would keep the conversations that you had with prospects prior to the call, which channel you used, what was your pitch and how you handled their objections in the chat and how you closed the deal. When growing your sales team, it would be saving you tens of hours of their work time. And instead of everyone having to go back and forth, imagining how to answer to a certain prospect, you'd get it from one of the templates that worked for you previously. This would allow you to go from guessing and having to solve every single case on a one-to-one -one basis to sticking to what works and repeatedly growing your revenue. Number seven, you want to increase your inputs and then to increase them again. Once you crack your code, the game becomes about staying in the game. So make sure you are not sabotaging the acquisition with dropping what works once it starts working and getting results and stay a while to build up momentum. It's easier to get from 20 to 40 meetings than from zero to 10, because once you know what guest prospects book a call with you at 2 a.m., you need to be going up in volumes. Thanks for watching. If you'd like my help, with executing the strategies with your SaaS, check out my performance-based accelerator SaaS camp. And if you have questions about things I covered, just make sure to drop them in the comments so I can help you out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.